Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm doing my next declutter series. I've got like, I think 10 to 12 videos. I've already filmed it all. I did it over the course of two days, which is usually what I do. When I'm in that declutter mindset, I just wanna attack it. I wanted to give you guys some quick tips of how, you know, the mindset I like to use when I declutter. If you're not interested at all, go ahead and fast forward to this timestamp right there on the screen. That way you can just get straight to the declutter. Everyone else, if you wanna stick with me, my tips are, first of all, the price tag does not matter, period. If it was an $80 blush that you spent a lot of money on and you know genuinely it either looks terrible on you or you're just not using it, get rid of it. It doesn't matter if it was $80 because guess what? You've already spent that money, you've already wasted it. So keeping it in your collection isn't getting you that money back. It isn't, you know, the waste is already has already occurred. So, you know, you could either give it away, gift it to someone that might love it, or you could sell it on stuff like Poshmark I use. Um, people will sell, I've sold stuff on Instagram before. Because then you can at least get some money back where it wasn't as much of a waste, and then you could spend that money on something you will use. So don't view decluttering as, for yourself, wasteful. It's more of a way of sharing the love, you know, with other people that are either not as fortunate or you know would love it. Like I know my sisters love this stuff that I let them go through when I declutter. Um, but also you could get some of your money back by selling some of those more expensive items. So just keep that in mind. Now, of course, some stuff you might not want to sell if you've used like, you know, obviously mascara, if you've used it, that's not right. Um, other things you can sanitize. You can sanitize lipsticks and powders and things like that. The next tip would be compare colors and formulas. If you have five bright pink lipsticks and you know you probably don't wear it very often, you probably only need one of them. Or it might be that, you know, color wise, you just don't wear that. You don't have to have a bright pink lipstick in your collection if you don't wear it. And that's another thing that's really kind of empowering when you realize, you know, oh, I feel like I have to have a red lipstick and a pink lipstick and a peach one. If you know peach looks terrible on you and you're never gonna wear it anyway, then why even have it in your collection? Who cares if you have a peach one in your collection? You're not gonna wear it. Another mindset that I didn't use for this declutter, but I've used it in my declutter where I got rid of like 70% of my collection, and I'll link that video below. Um, in that declutter, my mindset was, I just spread all my makeup out and I would look and just pick out all my favorites. And then really you can just get rid of everything else because once you have your favorites collected, and you passed up on anything else out there, then it probably is not something you need to keep. Because once you go through it one by one, um, it does make it, I will admit, even though I filmed these video one by one, I do think it makes it easier for you to talk yourself into keeping it. Because you're gonna swatch it and think, oh, it's so pretty. But if you know you haven't reached for it, and when you had it in a pile, and you didn't pick it out as one of your favorites, then, it's probably not one you need to keep. So it's kind of tricky and there's so many different ways to declutter, different um, mentalities. And so like I said, I'm not using that mentality for this one, but I do feel like that one's a really, really effective one. And it's one that like when I when you do KonMari, I did my KonMari clothing declutter and I got rid of a ton. And I have that video as well if you wanna see the actual process of me going through it. Um, that was kind of the process where you hold each thing and you ask like, does it bring me joy? Do I love it? And that's kind of a mixture of the two because you are doing it one by one, but you're kind of asking yourself, you know, you're being real with yourself. And I think my last tip is just that at the end of the day, it's just makeup. We do end up having, I think a lot of us, we have an attachment to some of it. Some of it's sentimental. Some of it is just like, you just love it. And if some people are collectors, they don't want to declutter. And I would figure that if you really are a collector that you like having all this stuff, you probably don't get much out of declutter videos anyway because it's just it's just a different mindset and there's nothing wrong with either one, I don't think. Um, it's just w where I am in my life, I just feel like I just don't need it all. And the reality is because of my job here on YouTube, I'm always gonna get more coming in. I'm always gonna buy more things. So just because I'm decluttering doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy anymore. It just means I'm making room so I can review other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Now that you've listened to all my tips, let's go ahead and get into the actual declutter. Okay, so today we're gonna declutter all of my blush. So I'm gonna set everything out so you can see it. Um, honestly, my organization in my Alex drawers has been terrible lately and I can't find like a good solution, I feel like. So after I do all this, I'm really excited to reorganize it and possibly just have more space for things because this is way too much blush. So let's go ahead and do it. So this is my entire blush collection. I think I've got everything. Um, so I feel like I have a lot of palettes, which I really don't use very often. And um, 
a lot of similar colors and I'm always so torn because I love all of these but the problem is I just don't need all of them and they're I mean a lot of them are powders they probably won't go bad anytime soon but even still there's no point in me holding on to it for three years and then eventually getting rid of it so I'd rather get rid of it while it's semi fresh and new so that someone I know can use it um, a lot of times I'll take my leftover makeup first I take it to my family I've got three sisters and my mom and I've got sisters-in-law and but I'll also take it to work so that the other teachers I work with can go through it so it goes to good homes sometimes if it's something I spend a lot of money on um, I might sell it on Poshmark from time to time so I'll list my Poshmark shop below in case you are curious um, but yeah so let's go ahead and get into this so let's start over here with these palettes these are the city color intense blush palettes and this one is in well I don't know does it really not say it just says intense blush palette but these are like kind of more peachy toned colors and orange you can tell um, they're very pigmented let me swatch like this one but you can tell I haven't even swatched all of these I knew right off the bat that these were not colors Ooh, they're really powdery that I would necessarily wear all the time so I didn't feel the need to even swatch them now there are like these top three colors I probably really would wear that's kind of more bronzery that's actually really light um, but like especially that peach shade there I probably really would wear that but will I wear it enough to keep this entire palette no I mean I've got to be real with myself no way so this is one that I'm gonna pass on <clears throat> So this is, oof, see that powder got everywhere. That was crazy. This is the one that's more like um, cool toned. And this is the one I was even more drawn to. But again, I hadn't swatched it yet because I thought, well, I don't know if I'm going to use it. So, but I want to swatch it for you guys. Um, these actually are much more my cup of tea when it comes to blush colors. Um, they're just, I like cool toned pink blushes. But again, will I use this enough? I've got plenty, like look, this one here. It's just like that one. Oh my gosh, like dead on. So do I really need a whole palette? No. So I think I will pass it on. If you haven't watched my declutters, um, I'm actually decently cutthroat when it comes to this stuff. This, these, a lot of these are new. I, last time I did my whole declutter series, I got rid of a lot. And then I did another declutter where I got rid of even more, like 70% of my collection. Cause I just realized, A, I get new stuff in all the time, whether I'm buying it or it's being sent to me. And I also just, I like getting rid of and getting new. It's kind of refreshing. So all the things I get rid of are gonna go over here, by the way. This is the also the City Color Cosmetics Timeless Beauty Palette. Now this one I liked a lot more because the packaging was really, um, you know, heavy duty and nice. This is a gorgeous palette. It has four matte blush shades and then three highlighter shades. Um, I actually have used this a bit. Now the highlighters, I mean, they're not, I guess they're not really highlighters. They're more like either blush toppers or almost eyeshadows because they're pretty deep for my skin tone. Now, these could probably be highlights for um, people that just have much deeper skin tones than me, but they're gorgeous, gorgeous. But they're absolutely gorgeous. And the blushes themselves are also really pretty. And it kind of took like my favorite ones out of those other palettes I'm getting rid of and put them all in one. So, okay, that was not a great swatch. But they really are nicely pigmented. I was very impressed with this one. And again, the packaging is like heavy and nice and gold. Um, yeah, it does list the those three as highlighters, but they would you'd have to have a deeper skin tone. So I think even though I do like all of this, I might still get rid of it because in the two months I've owned it, I've used it like twice. And I would love it if these were highlighters I could use, but it's, they're just not. So I think I am going to pass this on. <clears throat> Whoa, three whole palettes down. That's not bad. I'm still drinking my coffee. It's early in the morning. Okay, it's not early. It's like noon, but it might as well be early. It's summer break. All right. <sighs> my benefit powders. These kill me because I love all of them, and I really do. And it's one of the few things I own a lot of from one brand because I genuinely love their blushes. One that I know I would never get rid of is Dallas. And I was giggling because I watch declutter videos all the time and someone was recently talking about this and they were like, you know, I never use it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally can't stop using it. And it's been like over a year now. It does not look like anything when you swatch it. It, it kind of looks like, Ugh. but it is so beautiful on the cheeks. I just, 
I, I never would have thought I would love this as much as I do, but I cannot stop using it. And I'm, I don't know, I can't describe it. So that's one I'm definitely keeping. Maybe I'll keep the keeps up there and then get rid of this back here. Um, now, the rest of these, <sighs> Hervana I love. I think it's just a really pretty, like kind of mixed pink color. But every time I use it, I feel like I like it less and less because it's kind of too light for me. So this one might be one that I actually sell just because, you know, these are decently priced and I bought all of them with my own money. So I never feel bad about doing that. Um, so I think I am going to get rid of that, even though I never thought I would have said that. And it kind of breaks my heart, but I don't need it. I just don't need it, you guys. Um, and this is where I mean, I really am cutthroat because you have to talk yourself. You can't talk yourself out of getting rid of it. If you have that feeling like you probably should, then you probably just should. Um, sugar bomb. I just, is this one I actually did like? It's kind of peachy, but again, I think it's too light for me. Even looking on my hand, it's just kind of, I don't know, like frosty. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I cannot believe that. Coralista. Now this is a peach color and it's a little bit more, um, they are kind of powdery. I've never really noticed that. Um, this one's a little bit more like it would look correct on my cheeks. You know what I mean? Um, so I think I am going to keep Coralista. Dandelion might be another one that it's just too pink for me, like too light that is. Yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I can't believe I'm getting rid of these. First of all, I am proud. I'm only keeping two things so far and I'm getting rid of all of those. Go Jessica. Coffee break. Anyone else when I just said coffee break, say coffee break with me. Woo. I love Danny. Okay. Let's go here. So this is the Pixie by Petra. Beauty Blush Duo in Peach Honey. Now, I pretty recently got this, and it really is more of a highlighter. Now, if you mix the two, even still mixing, I'm trying to get more of that. It's, it's just so frosty. It really is more of a highlighter. It just is. Um, let me get just this side. Yeah, it's not, kind of got to get a lot. This side seems way more pigmented than the other. Um... I don't know. I feel like I haven't really tried this enough to really decide what I want to do with it. Um, so maybe I'll keep it. Um, this one, it looks so beat up. That's crazy, but I just got it. Why does it look so crazy? I wish you guys could see. It looks like dirty, and which is insane because it's one of my newest blushes. Um, I used to have a pink one of this. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but I bought this coral one because somebody mentioned it in a video and I was like, oh, I've got to, got to, I've got to get it. Um, this really is a beautiful peach shade. It's right there. It is a little bit lighter, but not too light. In fact, see, this makes me doubt if I should keep Coralista. So right now I'm torn because I feel like these are both similar. Um, let me swatch them both. The Coralista and this coral. Looks like the coral one from Maybelline might be. That's the one from Maybelline. Okay, Coralista really is splotchy. And I think it would go on better with a brush, and that might be part of it. But it's just kind of odd. I've never really noticed it. Um, I might just get rid of Coralista as well. I know that's like crazy, but... I loved them for a long time. I kept them for a long time, but I think it's just time. So then I'm going to keep this one. These, see, these seem similar. Now let's watch those compared and see which one I like better. Wow, those are almost identical. You know what, then? I think I actually like, look how smooth the Pixie one went on compared to that. So I think I'm going to keep the Pixie and get rid of that one. Whoa, I am killing it. This is amazing. I'm only keeping two so far, and I know for sure that I love this one, and this one, I so far, I really like the best out of those. All right, next one, Sonia Kashuk. This is another recent purchase. It's called Flushed, and their blushes are crazy pigmented, but I feel like I haven't even gotten to use this because I've had so many blushes. So I don't know that I'm gonna love that color. It's really, really bright, but I think even still, I'm going to keep this because I literally have only worn it once. So I've got to try that one out. This next one is from Makeup Geek and it's in the shade XOXO. And this one's very new to me. I think we got it in a BoxyCharm. And it is very, very, very pigmented and much darker than I would typically wear. 
<laughs> it looks kind of similar to the Sonia Kashuk one, doesn't it? But the Sonia Kashuk one really is a lot pinker. Pinker. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Makeup Geek blushes just are really, really good. Their new packaging is beautiful. I'm going to keep both of those. This next one is Boots Number no. 7 blush in soft damson i've talked about this in favorites a lot but it's already and this is what's weird to me it's already getting this like um oh, i love the color though it's so like understating kind of a muted berry color but it's already getting that like those the weird little dots throughout it and that makes me think mm, if i'm gonna keep this i feel like i should get a new one because that always just grosses me out it could be nothing but sometimes it could be other things um, I really haven't done a lot of research by way of that, but usually when it gets to that point, I start to think, mm, maybe this has been sitting in the store for a while and it's already old. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one and then I might repurchase it because I do, I've talked about this a lot. I love this blush. It stays on all day. It's a beautiful color. Um, all right, Milani Illuminating Face Powder. I love this. People, I remember, used to talk about, it's not very pigmented, but for some reason, and it really isn't, like when you swatch it, it's like nothing, like nothing shows up. But when you put it on with a, a brush, it just looks so gorgeous. I, if I remember right, I brought this to Disney with me for two weeks and I loved wearing it because it was just the right amount of color and like shimmer. It was just perfect. So for me, I loved it. I think if you do have a deeper skin tone, you just wouldn't like it. It really wouldn't show up. But I, mine must be just in that right zone for this shade. So I ended up loving that. I love this blush. This is from Quo. A lovely subscriber sent this to me, and I was so impressed. It's in the shade Pinch, and it's just this perfect, oh my gosh, like so smooth, so perfect, just this kind of peach shade. So I'm definitely going to keep that one. Um, this is another favorite. This is from City Color. It's their B Matte Blush in Blackberry. They sent me their whole line, and when I get entire lines of things from companies, I eventually get rid of most of it except for what I would wear once I've maybe done a video or whether I just decided I didn't want to because there's no point in me keeping every color. But I just love, first of all, the formula is amazing, but this color was just my favorite. <sighs> kind of reminds me of that first one from number seven here on my hand, um, but even more pigmented. So this is like an ultimate favorite of mine. I'm going to kind of separate these out so you can see like what I'm getting rid of and what I'm, this is awesome. Okay. So this one is from Cargo. It's one of their full-size blushes in Bali. And they're blushes. These, okay, I can't get it open. Yeah, these are water resistant. But the only thing I don't like about this, co the color is beautiful, but it has this sheen to it that's just kind of like got a blue shift, and I just don't like it. Um, I don't really know how else to describe it. It's a very odd, like I ordered it online not knowing but it has that shift to it that I just don't like. So I'm going to get rid of it. I do want to get another one of these, one of their water resistant ones, just in a different color. So that's kind of on my radar if there are any sales. And if you like these blushes and you know of a shade I would probably like, let me know. This one is from NYX. It's one of their HD blushes in Nude Tood. I've had this one for a while, like a year or so. Um, it's just kind of nothing. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I like the NYX HD blushes. They can be kind of powdery, but... Some of my favorite blushes are powdery, and if you tap your brush off, it's not that big of a deal. But this is just kind of a nothing color at this point. I used to like it a lot, but I kind of have realized it doesn't always make my cheeks look the best. You know what I mean? So it's just time. All right. This one I just bought. I haven't even... If I've uploaded the Sephora haul where I bought this, um, I'll link it below. But this is an hourglass blush, ambient lighting blush, and mood exposure. I really wasn't drawn to any of the other ones. This was the only one. And again, it kind of looks like nothing. But when you put it on your cheeks, it just, it's kind of like this where, I mean, this is way more pigmented. But where they kind of have just the right amount of color and like that illuminating quality. It doesn't look glittery though. It just looks gorgeous. So love, love that. This one, I used to have all three of these, but I got rid of all of them, but the one I love loved a while ago, because I have gotten rid of a lot of makeup without showing you on video, um, just because you get in a mood where I'm like, I don't necessarily have time to film it, but I need to get rid of stuff. So um, anyway, this is in the Princess Daiquiri's. It's the Wet n' Wild Ombre Blushes, and this is just so pretty. Again, it is kind of lighter, so if you have a deeper skin tone, it wouldn't work, but it just ends up looking so gorgeous on the cheeks, so this is a definite keep. 
This is very dirty. This is the NARS one in Deep Throat. And their blushes are amazing. They really, I mean, they really are, and this one is no different. It is a little bit, I think, deep for my skin tone. When I apply this with a brush, it's never an issue. So I really do like this shade. This one's from Kiko I bought when I was in London. It's their Soft Touch Blush in 109. And it's just a very basic light pink color. It's matte, which is nice, because I feel like sometimes it's hard to find matte blush colors. Um, I don't know. This is just so basic. I feel like, do I even need it in my collection? I guess is the difference. But it is really nice. I'm going to think about that one. This one I just got in an Ipsy bag, Seraphine Botanicals. If I can open it. Um, it's a really small blush, but it's in Happy Hibiscus. It's a really soft touch, and it's very much like brown toned. But I haven't worn it yet, and I want to try it. So I don't know if I'll get rid of this one. It, it might not be quite right for my skin tone, but um, I still want to try it. Next, this NYX Cream Blush I just bought. Um, it's in the shade Natural, and I love it. You guys, these their cream blushes are my favorite, and I really don't like cream blush, but this one, once you get it on, it's so creamy. It's so, um, it just stays put. I've never had a cream blush that actually, like, stays in place and I think the color is so beautiful. So I want to buy more of these cream blushes but I really don't need to because I don't need that many cream blushes. But this shade natural is my favorite. I've had boho chic as well but I think this one looks a little bit better with my skin tone. Um, this is an e.l.f. total face palette and out of all of the e.l.f. blush things that I've tried and now that I'm thinking about it I feel like I have some that I that are somewhere and I don't know I don't know. Um, this is actually one of my favorites because the bronzer is actually really, really perfect for my skin. It, oh gosh, it really is. And then these two blush colors are just gorgeous. Wrong finger. There we go. Pink, peach. That pink one I didn't, well, it was on like the wrong finger. Um, and then the highlight, if I remember right, is actually pretty nice too. Oh no, it's kind of more subtle. It actually has kind of a gray tone to it now that I'm looking at it closer like a legitimately gray color. Can you guys see that? That's insane. But I actually really like it. Now, do I need it? Probably not. So this might be one, I don't know. But I, out of the e.l.f. products, it's one of my favorite and I like to do e.l.f. videos. So this is one I'm gonna think about as well. So my think about pile is this, this. I'm still gonna think about that one too. These are definites. I'm gonna think about the Kiko one too. You know what, if I have to think about it, I'm getting rid of them. Boom, problem solved. And I'm seeing now this is their illuminating palette, so I'm gonna save this for the highlighter video. So, out of all of my blushes, I'm keeping two, four, six, eight, ten, and I'm getting rid of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So, way more than half of my collection I'm getting rid of. So that is amazing. So, you can see here as I spread it out, this is everything I'm getting rid of. This is what I'm keeping. So I think, as I look through, I always like to look back at my keep pile, make sure there's nothing else I'm having any reservations about um, keeping. And out of all of those, I'm gonna just let um, other people go through the rest, and these five I'm going to sell eventually on my Poshmark. So that's the four benefit blushes and the cargo blush. So this is my entire blush collection. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I do feel proud of how much I got rid of. I'll be doing this as a series, as I said, and my next one is highlighters and then bronzers, and then I'm looking, then I've got palettes, single eyeshadows, primers, foundations, um, concealers, mascaras and liners and brow, um, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms. I mean, I've got it all. It'll end up being, I think, 11 videos based on the way I had filmed it. So. There's a long haul, but I'm so excited. It was so much fun to do, and it's such an amazing feeling. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Once I've got these next videos up, I'll start linking the playlist below for all of them. Of course, I will link my declutter playlist from way before where I've got a whole other series of ones that I've done from a year or two ago. So if you're interested in that and you just wanna watch declutter videos, definitely check those out. They'll definitely appease that declutter feeling inside of you. Other than that, I hope you'll subscribe to catch my future ones, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.